Today, I found myself in a cooking competition. I'm on this really nice yacht with these uber rich clients, and they're looking for a new private chef. It's a huge knife. I was just like, oh man, here we go. I get a call from the agency and there's a very wealthy couple, Brad and Kimberly, and they are inviting me to one of their yachts to go in and audition to possibly be their LA-based private chef. However, I tend to get a little seasick. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here actually to, uh, what? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm here to, uh, uh, I'm chefing. You're chefing? Yes, I'm, I'm chefing, I'm okay. chefing. This guy is security, and I was taken back at first. I mean, I knew these people had a lot of money, but I didn't know they were like, rolling like that. All right, I think uh, we should be back about one o'clock, one thirty. Oh, okay. Around that, so. Uh, so just get going? Just like oh, rock and roll. So I get through Joe, this giant security guard guy, and Henry, his lovable attack dog, and I hop onto the boat, and then it happened. Hello. How are you? I'm good, how you doing? I'm Jesse. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. What's going on? This is gonna be fun. I, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> I didn't know there was gonna be somebody else here. Me yeah. neither. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, is this the right boat? Because this boat already has a chef. I was sent uh, to do a little cooking here for this family, I guess. I cook on yachts, and my oh. client sent me over. So I get to meet Chef Jay, who is apparently competing for the same job as me today. I was just like, oh, man, here we go. I've been a chef for over 20 years. Wow. I'm a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, right. Ten, this is my drawer down here. I've been out here for 10 years and I spent like five years personal chefing from everyone from John Travolta to Brad and Jen and those types. Ooh, Brad and Jen, who cares? So let's talk menu here. Yeah. Are we doing the same menu? We're making, I'm making grapes with fresh fruit. The clients gave us a long list of foods they want us to make. So basically, Chef Jay and I are making the same dishes just with our own interpretation. So with my crepes, I thought I'd actually go savory and right. do like a uh, seared pear and um, duck crepe. So the clients really want a sense of what I can do on a 24-hour basis. So they're asking me to prepare a crepe for breakfast. They want uh, an abalone salad for lunch. And then they want sort of a surf and turf idea for dinner. And then for dessert, they just want something chocolate. The agency informed me that the clients are very health conscious. Great, I work with health conscious all the time, but Jay is taking it to this extreme level. I'm known as the healthy chef. No butter, no sugar, no salt and no cream. But so, they wanted chocolate for their dessert. I'm doing a chocolate dessert. I'm using chocolate and milk. You can use this. Agave? Yes, yeah. and I have a little extra if you need. I think I might actually make a creme fraiche whipped cream to mm -hmm. go with that, kind of a no nice No whipped little. cream, no cream. You play how you want to play, I'm gonna play how I Fair play. Fair enough. So Joe, you've been working with your clients for seven years, yeah? Have you ever seen them have any sort of allergic reaction or anything to salt or butter or cream or anything like that? No. No. No food allergy. I feel a little better about that. Just a little bit. Who am I? I'm Chef Jesse. I know what I'm doing. And then the clients arrive. Hello. Oh, it smells Hello. good in here. Well, well, this smells well, really good. Hey. How are you? Okay. Who's this? Oh, this is Pearl. Pearl. She has discriminating taste. She'll be one of those that uh, we will look to for her. She'll, she'll be the <laughs> final word. She's like, what? Is it with like these Beverly Hills women and their dogs? Well guys, this stuff smells great. I'm really hungry and I'm really looking forward to what you prepared for us. We're gonna head upstairs and we're looking forward to that first course. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Way. thank you so much. See Appreciate it. You. Okay, see you in a bit. So the clients go upstairs and it is go time. Thanks are coming along, baby. Crepes are coming along, I really feel like I'm drunk. And I was like, oh, this is not good because I, I get seasick, I do. 
Everything is organic. I have a garden in Eagle Rock. Blah, 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 blah. I cooked on three yachts, actually lived on a 160-foot Broward. He's really good at uh, the BS. All of a sudden, I start getting kind of woozy, and I didn't know why. I was like, oh my god, I think I'm going to be sick. And then I looked around, and I realized, oh, we're moving. Really got woozy feeling, I'm just pulling so, off. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like this, I was like, man, all of a sudden, I'm, I didn't know we were going. I was like, I'm feeling dizzy. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. First course is the crepes. Now, Chef Jay went with the classic fruit ricotta crepe. It's cute. It's a uh, it's Simple, classic. elegant, yeah. a little herbage. But I knew that we wanted to do something a little more out of the box, so I decided to go with the savory crepe. You look like you're making pancakes over there, homie. And I use a delicious duck breast with uh, seared pear and a really delicious um, creamy Swiss cheese. And I folded that into the crepe and I served it with a side of a creme fraiche whipped cream and garnished it really lightly with some beautiful, beautiful bright green wheatgrass. May the best man win. Good luck. Sure. Man. Now I'm taking a little bit of a risk going the savory route. It's a little out of the box, and this is a breakfast course. But if I'm going to take a stand and being creative and doing things a little differently, then I have to stand by this dish. Good morning. Oh, good. Hi. Hi. We agreed that we would switch back and forth. So Chef Jay presents his plate. Nothing above and beyond, but it was a good quality crepe. This is made with a little ricotta, and it has some marinated strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Please enjoy. Why the food is amazing today you're eating because everything is organic. I have a garden in Eagle Rock. So Chef Jay is up there and he's just laying on his ingredients, talking about how everything is like, especially for you, blah, 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 blah. I cooked on three yachts, I actually lived on a 160 foot Broward in the Bahamas. Wow, he's really good. He's really good at uh, the BS. Of course the dog gets to taste it. Well, I guess Chef Jay's food is edible after all. The crepe is fantastically constructed. I love the texture, I love the taste, I love how much of it you actually use. To me, it has a, a lot of flavor to it. Great, mm -hmm. and um, it is very, very, very tasty. Right. Thank you. Much I look forward to it. cooking Gorgeous. your next course. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Perfect. And my turn. So I have a little bit of a different approach than Jay. I like to get a little more daring and try new things, so. I hope they like the food, but more importantly, I really hope Pearl likes it. And I'm like, what do you think? Mm -hmm. It's actually very pretty what you've done here. Thank Beautiful. You. Yeah, gorgeous. I would make this super micro thin. Okay. Um, I am a chef myself. Great. Now she's a chef too. What next? It's more of just a slight feature to it as sure. opposed to yeah. uh, the main sure. function. Great. Mm -hmm. Right then and there, I started to worry a bit. I mean, this is not only my reputation on the line, but an account with very influential clients. But you know what? The competition is not over yet. So far, things have been really close, but I have a feeling the tides might change when they try Chef Jay's fried abalone. This is my abalone salad with arugula, and I uh, lightly pan fried those so that they would be nice. And we call that GBD, golden brown and delicious. Mm -hmm. um, please enjoy. What right. is it pan fried in? This is a panko crust. It is panko, yes. okay. Uh, on this, however, I think that the assumption that the fried was okay is a miss. Ha ha, knew it. Jay, you can't call yourself the healthy chef and then serve your clients something deep fried. Let's do this dessert. dessert. I knew Kimberly was from Texas, so I decided to go with a traditional southern dessert, which is a whoopie pie. And it's two cookies with a creamy frosting center. I baked some rich chocolate cookies and iced them with a special low-fat frosting I made using a substitute sweetener. And you traditionally dip them in milk. So to add a touch of elegance, I infused the milk with lavender. I got my frozen hot chocolate, a little strawberry basil marinade, and some crispy phyllo with cinnamon. Simple and delicious. Nice. Chef Jay made a frozen hot chocolate, and he made like this little strawberry salsa thing. Wow, lots of work there, Chef Jay. You just got to make some hot chocolate and blend it up in some ice and serve it. I kind of feel like that's a little uncreative, Jay. I kind of feel like maybe dessert's not your strong point. Just no more talking. Let's do it. 
This is a frozen hot chocolate, you guys. Super. Please enjoy. Tastes beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, mm -hmm. thank you guys again. I hope to see you. It's good. Thank you. So it's my turn to go, and it's all riding on this dessert. And for our Southern Belle, I thought you could appreciate homemade whoopie pies. <laughs> it was like, oh, well, I knew you were Southern, and I thought that you could appreciate this whoopie pie, bring you back to the good old days in Texas. And, um, you know, it worked. I would have to light up a cigar with this one. <laughs> and have like a shot of whiskey or something. Exactly, and I, would, really love, I would love to see you do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good Friday night treat. And then finally, it was decision time. What a wonderful, wonderful day. Kimberly and I just want to thank both of you. It's absolutely incredible and marvelous and delicious. We also both want to applaud you on you. working you. together in probably one of the smallest galleys uh, there is. <laughs> and we are very happy to say we chose So it was decision time. And Chef Jay and I were both up there, but I was feeling kind of confident. So Kimberly and I have been talking. And we are very happy to say that Jay, you will be joining us on our boat in the Caribbean. I wasn't expecting that, and I have to say, I'm a little disappointed. And we appreciate the fact that you're seaworthy, and so we really applaud you and thank you for all of your efforts. Apparently they could tell that I don't necessarily have my sea legs. We'd also like to say that, Jesse, you will be working for us on this boat. Oh, all right, yes. wow, well, that's a new adventure. And then they told me that they would love to hire me as their LA-based chef. The agency's gonna be really excited that I scored such a huge gig with such influential clients. We're feeling that because this isn't out on the high seas and this and that, it might be more comfortable. The one thing I learned today that being trapped in a small kitchen on a boat in the ocean, not my dream job. But I'm excited to be cooking for Brad and Cam and even little Pearl here in Los Angeles. Thank you. Right, thank well you done. so much. Well done. Fun cooking We're so today. excited. We came to thank find you. one chef and we walked away with two. Today, total success. I'm feeling really, really proud. Jess, I wasn't expecting that, brother. No, I was not either. Well, I got the Caribbean, brother. Well, enjoy it. It's hurricane season. Ha, 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 ha.